Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. I'm here with Owen from Game with the Cooler, and today we are checking out the latest uh, edition of Batman miniature game from Night Models, the third edition. Uh, it's got a slick new box set, tons of terrain, lots of models, um, and a new rule set, which is a lot more fast playing than the previous one. Uh, so we'll walk you through the rules, give you a basic overview of the mechanics, and then get this game underway. All right, so here we are with our entire Batman third edition starter set all laid out, ready to try out this game. So, um, getting started. Well, first, obviously, you need to put together all your cardstock terrain uh, and paint all your miniatures. I, I painted all but one today. Uh, Harley Quinn has a giant, huge custom base that I haven't quite finished. Um, so we're going to be playing a 250 rep game. Uh, what that means is that we're going to build our crews um, and then jump in and uh, throw down. So not quite all the models are going to get used. Now, there's two stats uh, for everybody to build a crew with. There's their rep and their funding. So you're going to play uh, for every 150 points, 500 points of funding, or 500 dollars use of funding, um, and then that many points in rep. So for 250 rep, we're going to get 1,000 uh, in funding, and that means we can spend that much on guns and equipment and stuff in the equipment list. But for the starter set game, it's pretty simple. That means that for Batman's crew, we're going to have Batman, Harvey Bullock, Officer Merkel, GCP Detective, and GCP Cop 1. So that adds up to just over, I think it was like... 247 rep and then their total cash value is 200 300 600 and zero so 600 out of my thousand means i would have 400 to spend on additional equipment but we're just going to play a simple game to start off with um for the joker and his crew uh dropping harley and we're also going to drop this fellow right here that means we're going to have joker dead shots um and then four thugs basically <laughs> so you've got uh, I think it's a grand total. How much is the dude with the baseball bat? He yeah, is. I think we actually should have dropped uh, Chainsaw Man for that guy. Because the dollar reduce are way out of the proportion. Oh, okay. So it's Chainsaw Man that's getting dropped. Okay, cool. Yeah. So Chainsaw Man's going to come out, and that puts you at, I think, what's Chainsaw Man worth for rep? 20. 20. $350. So you're at 250 and then your total rep is 600 for dead shot. Uh, and then uh, who else? 600, 900 for double pistols. Right. Uh, and then. 11.50 for Thug 2. Yep, and I think you've got dirty money on Joker. Joker's gonna be about 11.50, which is fine. It's just slightly over for funding, um, but it means he has slightly too many guns for this uh, demo game. Let's have one leader in your crew. Um, and you can have an unlimited number of henchmen and up to one sidekick who could also be a leader and unlock an additional sidekick otherwise. So for me, uh, I'm dropping Jimbo, Jim Gordon, uh, and GCP Cop 2. Um, and that means that I'll have Batman, uh, he's my leader, Bullock, and then the rest of the cops. We've got a detective, Officer Merkel, and GCP Cop 1. Um, they are all just henchmen, which means I can have an unlimited number of them. For you, you've got a single, um, uh, basically hired gun. They're called uh, Free Agents, which is going to be Deadshot. Uh, your leader is going to be the man, the legend, the Joker. And the rest of these guys are all henchmen, which you can have an unlimited number of. And there we have to build our objective decks. Now, the objective decks that come in the starter set, you get two copies of all the generic cards, plus you get um, a couple of faction cards. So I get a Jimbo faction card, I get a Batman faction card, and a Bullock faction card. You get one for Deadshot, Harley, and Joker. So we've pulled out the ones for the characters we're not using, and the rest of them are generic, um, down to a 20 card deck. This is how you score points over the course of the game but they can also be used as resources. So um, for deck building purposes, you have what it's worth when you score it, um, how many you can have in your deck. So for instance, this one, which is Dirty Job, it's one when you score it, three if you uh, are deck building, you can have a maximum. I think actually you have to include three. Um, and then you can also use it as a resource, which will cost you one of your three resource fun bucks you get every turn, up to four turns, uh, to do an effect. So for instance, this one, a friendly model can remove two damage markers during its activation, or choose a KO'd model within four inches to automatically recover from KO. And this is a bonus objective. So if you do it as an objective and you score it, you get to throw it over onto your score objective side. If you discard it for whatever reason, it goes to the bottom of the deck and gets recycled. Um, and if you uh, use it as a resource, it goes in the spent resource pile. So you can either spend them for different effects, or you can discard them in the discard phase to draw a new one and it goes to the bottom of your deck. We also have plots. You build a four card plot deck. You choose one to be active at the very beginning. Um, and then when you score it, you get to draw a new one from the remainder of your plot deck. What these are is you get to do achievements basically. So like complete an objective, complete an objective with a menace tag. At the end of the round, I have at least two models of the detective trait within four of the same enemy model. Um, you score this, then once per round, look at the enemy hand and discard one of their objective cards. You get to basically pull 
a new ability that you unlock during the game. So I've taken point the finger, VIP, the sneak, and detective work. I'm probably gonna start with VIP. Things you want nearby, your three resource counters, because those are gonna replenish every turn, you use them to spend on your objective cards. Uh, your street furniture, you're just gonna have two sewers and two lamp posts. The lamp posts will cancel out the nighttime effect, and basically anyone within four them can be in line of sight, and then the uh, sewers are basically teleport points you can teleport around the board on. You wanna have all your train laid out in a mutually agreeable manner. Each player needs four audacity markers, which are the characters in your uh, crew that are gonna be able to do extra actions each round. And then finally you need your deployment cards and your event cards shuffled up and ready to go. So deployment cards will be the random deployment and special rules for the turn, and your event cards, hmm, these ones, these ones, there we go. Um, these are these are advanced rules basically. They give every game a twist of what's going on um, that can create additional sort of like circumstances for the mission. Your objectives, your pass counters for whoever's getting extra stuff, and then your suspect markers. Suspect markers are typically placed in manipulate actions and they're used to score objectives later on in the turn. You wanna have a handful of dice, one of a different color. Uh, the game comes with five uh, with an additional color for your strength die. I'm just putting two on each side here so we can tough separate them. These are used for all of your tactical actions like attacking and shooting guns. Um, and then your measuring sticks that come in the game and you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna set up a mission. So when we set up a mission, our crews are selected, um, we've built our objective decks, and we've put aside our deployment and our plot decks, uh, and also our event decks. All right, preparing the game. So first of all, game board and scenery's done, urban furniture. So we roll off and place our little zones. So you get to go first, you place first your street lamps anywhere on the table, not within two of an edge or eight of each other. So drop a street lamp down and I'll do the same. Over there. Mm, one over here. Same thing for sewers, and they're basically teleport points. You can use a manipulate action to go into one, and then come on another, but then you can't move afterwards. And the same deployment restrictions are placed. Right, and now that that's done, we are going to choose deployment zones. That means shuffling the deployment deck and drawing a card. So we'll just cut it and get... Showdown! The first group to be deployed must only contain models with leader, sidekick, or free agent. So whoever has to deploy first is going to have to place those. Deployment. I got a six. What's you got a two. Thing? It's eight inches up. So you've got... Uh, divide your uh, Now you divide your team into two, so basically it has to be in half as evenly as possible. But whichever the two groups you pick has to be made up of uh, only models containing leader, psychic, and or free agent. Events come down, and let's see what our random event is for the game. It's gonna be Labyrinthine Sewer. Models may add, that end in activation within four inches of the sewer suffer the enervating one effect. Enervating does, it means that you're minus one to your effort limit, basically, when you're taking actions or trying to affect people's dice. So what effort is in this game is previously when you'd activate, you would just do your skills. In this one, you can take stun damage now to increase the amount of dice you roll, decrease the opponent's amount of dice. Basically, it represents the fact you're pushing yourself. Um, and everyone loses a stun at the end of the round. So that's set up now. We've done our event card. We are on to choosing our plot card. So I've chosen to do VIP as my first one. Uh, that means if I complete an objective, complete a protection objective, and at the start of the round when this card's played, choose a friendly suspect marker or the first suspect marker that's placed during the round to be a VIP. This marker is no longer a suspect marker at the end of the round if you have more models than four of it than your opponent. Um, uh, if not, the VIP marker reverts to being a suspect marker. So basically I'm trying to protect one of my suspect markers I put down, and I'll gain the ability to once per round, a friendly model can reroll additional defense dice during an enemy attack. Is your plot to have active, and that's gonna be shock and awe. Uh, complete objective, complete a violence objective, and at the end of the round have more friendly suspect markers than enemy models in play. Have lots of suspect markers, kill one of my guys, and have that uh, objective marker be done. Deploy crews, um, so you won the roll, so you have to deploy your, um, your, yeah, your, your group that's made up of only leaders and sidekicks. Pretty much the same. Unfortunately, Deadshot is very good at killing Batman because he has unlimited line of sight. So we're gonna drop down. We're gonna place bats over here with an eight. And then you place your other half of your team, which is gonna be the remainder of the hench bros. So we're deployed. I've got Harvey Bullock with his donut and coffee over here, hanging out with GCP Cop 1 and my detective. And then we got Bats and Officer Merkel on the right flank. You've placed Thuglies 1 through, I don't know, 6? Six. Six. <laughs> Minus Thug one, 3. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. And then Joker and uh, Deadshot. Deadshot. So now we are into the um, initiative part of the turn where we're gonna start our phases. And the phases are pretty simple. Um, we have three throughout the course of the turn. There's raise the plan, execute the plan, and then um, the final phase, which is where we basically reset everything. Let's take the lead. We're gonna dice off to see who is uh, going first. 
and that's you. Um, and then we have to raise the plan. So now during the raise the plan phase, I have to assign audacity markers. Now, uh, during the execute the plan, everybody can take a single action from the list of movement, tactical, or special. Um, the guys with audacity markers can do one of each. So audacity markers are pretty important because they let people do additional things. So we're gonna give one to Bullock, one to GCP Cop, uh, and one to the detective, I think. Actually, not to Bullock, we're gonna give one to Officer Merkel. Uh, and these guys can do one of each action as opposed to only one. So that means Bullock is gonna have to choose a single action to do. Now what's cool about the Joker gang is he has Chaos Agent and gives it to all his henchmen. So he basically keeps his uh, Dacia markers in reserve and uses them when he wants them, he can deploy them. The only exception is Deadshot won't get uh, one because he's not a henchman, he hasn't gained Chaos Agent, he's a free agent. So you'll have to assign one to him if you want him to do one, more than one thing to return. So if you wanna give it to him, Cool, and then everybody else is just gonna be sitting in the pool. The skill that they gain is called Trickster, that's right. Chaos Agent is what um, Bats has. Uh, we start the game with three resource counters to spend resources, and we should have drawn cards right now to see what our objectives are for the first round. And these are what we're trying to score. Now I can discard one, which I'm gonna do, because I can only score the same one once in a turn, to put that there, and then draw these. And so each of these can be done either as an objective, so for instance, this one, reveal an enemy suspect marker. After revealing it, you have more suspect markers than your opponent, you score this card. Um, so I'm trying to get a whole bunch down and then still have more on the table. I'll recover at least two friendly models from KO in the same recovery phase, I'll score this one. If an enemy model makes an effort to defend itself against your model's attack, don't declare an effort for your model. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then over here, uh, valuable commodities, reveal one of your suspect markers and replace it with a loot marker. At the end of the game, it counts as uh, having gotten this objective if I score it. If I try and uh, do this after the third round, I can't. So you can't do this on the final turn, you'll have to spend at least one turn defending whatever the objective is. Purposes of scoring my plot, protection objective would be the one with the body armor, this is a menacing objective, this is a control objective, and the one with the handgun is a um, violence objective. Of course, normally these wouldn't be shown to your opponents, but because we're trying to teach you the game, we're just gonna show them off. So um, we've raised the plan, uh, and now it goes to executing the plan, and that means that you get to pick a model to go. I have two pass markers, however, as player two, um, and I gain an additional one for bats. As the, where is it, uh, informer, because I'm not KO, I get an additional activation or additional pass marker. I'm also the world's greatest detective. Uh, at the end of the raise the plan phase, you can choose one enemy model on the board. Uh, they have to make a willpower check, or if they fail, they have to be the first model to activate. It's not super relevant this round, but it can be relevant later on. We'll have Mr. Double Guns here go, and he'll have to make a willpower check, and if he fails, he has to be the first one to activate this round. Cool, so he is... Three on um, batarangs. Yep. Go so to two dice. No, it's three dice. Three dice, and you pick the discard one. And what's his willpower? Four. Four less. So discarding the five is still a six. So he fails. He'll have to be the first model to activate. Last a maximum of four turns, and at the end of the turn, the person with the most victory points is going to win. So you get to do your first action. So now, does he want to use a K or a trickster ability to gain nope. audacity? No. Nope. All he's going to do is put down a point. All right. So he gets to do a tactical action. Then you choose one skill to do. He's gonna manipulate. Now you can't place those within two inches of your deployment zone. Remember. You have to move first without doing that because you can't just place it in your deployment zone. He's not doing it then. He'll okay. just walk up and stay behind here. So you can do next turn. Pass marker then. So I'll use my first free one that I got from Batman. And you can go again. Four. He's, He's gonna, gonna gain a tricky. Okay, get a trickster to get a audacity marker. He's gonna do a move. Walking past the, the Sewer. dumpster here. And then he's also going to place a scheme marker. As a tactical action, so he'll manipulate. Do a special action, but I don't think he has any special actions on his cards, so he's not worried about that. All right, so special actions typically use your special stat, just like it was that willpower test over there. Um, and you have to roll equal to or under your willpower stat using your willpower um, number of dice. And you can discard one if you have roll more than two. So it's usually 2d6, and if you roll extra dice, you're discarding the ones that you don't like. So it's over to me now. I'm just going to pass and make you go again. Let's have you commit. Cool. Thug six is gonna go. Oh, Thug six. He's gonna do much the same. And basically just walk out and plant a box. Cool. So now you'll notice that Owen is moving his models their basic movement stat, which is eight inches for most of these guys. Whenever they wanna move over something that would impede their movement or up on top of something that would impede their movement, they lose four inches from their movement stat. That's a climb. If they wanna jump down, if they move over their basic movement stat, they can take damage and stuff like that. But for the most part, you move pretty free form. Anything that's not more than an inch tall, they just can clear with no, no trouble. So like for instance, if I wanted to move eight inches with his eight inch movement, I could walk over this for free, but I'd only move four inches if I was gonna try and climb up on top of this or on top of that. And you have to end somewhere where your base can fit. Last left, so let's do it again, and you can do a move. Or 
Not a move. You can just also go on. <laughs> I can do things. All kinds of things. Uh, we're going to just have uh, Thug 1 go, and he is going to walk his 10 up behind these boxes here. Cool. Not taking the dynasty marker, so it's his only activation. Yeah. Now, it's worth noting that you can only see 12 inches in this game because it's always nighttime in Gotham, unless you're within four inches, like I said earlier, of one of these, or you're within 12 inches overall. So you have a, basically a maximum 12 inch range, um, or you're within range of uh, one of the lampposts to light things up. So everybody's kind of staying outside the lamppost, so I can't just shoot them willy nilly. Um, and of course, my guns might have maximum ranges too. Pass markers at this point. Looking at my objectives, I have things I want to do. Uh, this one's kind of cool. This one's kind of cool. This one requires me to have guys who are hurt, and this one's pretty cool too. For the most part right now, I'm just kind of sitting on folks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take uh, my GCP officer over here, Mr. Cop, and he is going to, um, with Zodasty marker, make a movement action, or sorry, a tactical action to manipulate. He can't make a movement action afterwards, unfortunately, but he's gonna jump through over to here and hide next to the sewer. So he'll manipulate the sewer to go through the sewer and be done. Special action, but his special action, I think is a lantern. Let me just double check. Uh, no, he can arrest. When in contact with a KO'd model, uh, I can rule them as a casualty by making a willpower check. You. And we established that willpower abilities only last for the turn, right? Mm -hmm. In a bit. Yep, Joker's just gonna move kind of into the middle of everybody and decide what he wants to do later. Well, I think it's time to go with my GCP detective. Now, him and Bullock also have the hidden ability, which I didn't use this game. Normally, they can deploy outside your deployment zone after everyone else is deployed. I didn't really want them outside my deployment zone at this point because I didn't want to be too close to the raging murder people. Um, but the detective has a movement of 10, so you can move 10 inches. Unimpeded, he's just going to get himself up into cover over here. Now he could take a shot if he wants to, but his rate of fire is going to be reduced. He doesn't have a lot of bullets, so he's just going to hang out and do a tactical action. Let's drop an objective. Uh, manipulate, and he'll put it right there. We're going to go with our good friend Deadshot here. The deadest of shots. And is that where he wants to end up? He wants to be here, probably. So he goes over that. Uh, he'll just go in front of it. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Barricade. He, uh, moved, he just wants otherwise. to be outside of four. Not in the not in the light. Not in the light. Cool. So that shot's got some cool special abilities. He can um, basically ignore the night penalty. Good. I'm already under a lantern anyway, but he also gets plus one to hit, uh, plus one dice, and ignores cover. And ignores cover. So he's real good at shooting. But his uh, hand cannons only have short range, and his rifle, while it has medium range of 16 inches, will lose two dice because he moved before he fires. Nothing to hang out. Doesn't want to waste his shots right now, but he's lined up for next turn. Time for Mr. Bullock to go. He's gonna walk his eight and just come around, hanging up behind this lamp or this uh, table. And he does not have an audacity marker, so he's done. He's gonna your last audacity marker. Yeah. So he gets to do one of each action. Does he want to climb up this building? If he can end, you, you don't have to. You basically measure when you climb. You measure the vertical distance and the horizontal distance the same. So he'll, as long as his base can end all the way on top of that, you're fine. Because the base move is eight. Mm -hmm. He'll drop to four, and then he'll be able to go four up and four sideways during that move. Okay, so, so if his base ends on top, sideways and four up. Yep, he's totally fine. Cool. He'll end up uh, on that wall. He, honestly, he'll just walk over here. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. You can't put them within four of each other. So you could drop another suspect marker, but they can't be within four. Remember, there's another one over here. Put it behind us. And then you should be okay. It's not within ten of your uh, zone because can't be within two of your deployment zone. Yeah, you're fine. It's all done. So it's going to be Officer Merkel. Now, Officer Merkel could do a bunch of things. Doesn't really want to shoot his gun right now though, so I think he's just gonna walk, and he walks eight. He walks 10 actually. So he's gonna walk up just over here and hide behind this corner. Also play suspect murder, because why not? You. I have no activations left. You're done? Okay, so we're gonna go with Bats. Bats has a special ability to use his Bat Claw. He can use it every other round. He gains a Bat Claw marker, and once per round, this model gains plus six to its basic movement distance. It can move any direction, including vertically, when using this ability. This model can move over obstacles in difficult ground without penalty. However, the model cannot use this rule two consecutive turns. So, I think we're gonna do that. Let's make a willpower check. It's a special action was willpower nine. He's fine. And then he gets to move 16 inches. Or all kinds of things. So he's going to go, I think, hang out over here. Roop. And he uses the sneak rule to attack somebody who didn't have line of sight to him at the beginning of the uh, activation. 
So with Sneak, he gains, at the beginning of the attacker's activation, the target cannot see the attacker. The target model cannot take efforts when defending against this model's attacks. Right, melee. So now the new version of melee, because you're not selling any dice here like you did in previous editions, is you have your melee stat and dice. So I've got five dice for melee. Um, I can use effort, and I might as well. I'm going to use one effort. So I use up to three per round, and I take a stun damage, and everybody drops a stun at the end of the round, so there's no point in not doing this. And if I take that stun damage, I gain an additional die. And because I snuck attack you, you don't get any extra ones. Now I'm also going to roll a strength die, um, and it's an unblockable hit if I hit with my strength value of three plus here. So what's your defense? Three. So all these hit on threes. And I'm going to hit you four times. So four times you can try and defend. So now you use your defense stat, which is three, so three dice, against my attack of five. So every five will block a hit. One. So you block one. So you take six stun damage. Well, you have to roll for damage now. Oh, that's right. I have to roll for damage. Three successes. Yep. Three successes. Rolling for damage against three plus strength. And two of them wound, and that means that I've got a four stun damage on you. And you're five endurance, so you got one left. And he's got a special action that he's used, so he's all done. And I'm finished. Round one. Uh, if you have any cards that you'd score at the end of the round, you could do them. How many? Score an end of round one, which Stick is. Stick to the plan. I have more suspect markers than my opponent in play in round four, or phase four. In phase four, in the end phase. So you're going to score that one. That's going to be worth how many victory points? Two. Cool. You draw a new card. I'm going to discard one. Discarding one and putting it at the bottom and getting a new one. Resources come back during the end phase, and it's. In, uh, sorry, um, take the lead for round two. So He's round two starts, one, yeah, so am I. And then who is first? Is you. And now if Deadshot wants to do things consecutively, obviously he's gonna have to get an audacity marker. Nope. Okay, no, <laughs> not for him, he okay. He can see everyone he needs to see right now. Fair enough. Uh, we're gonna do, mm, let's say, you, you, I'll just put them out. You, you, you and you. Really? You're gonna put so I get three passes once again, going second, and once again I'm going to make uh, this little guy right here have to activate first. Yeah. Beat That's it. Like four. You did it. You passed the test. So, so he doesn't have to activate first. It could be anybody. Want. That's right. You're just 16, so you're definitely in medium range of the GCP that, detective. That little boy. Yep. Do it. We're just going to shoot him. Okay, I'm going to take three stun and effort to reduce your dice by three. I'm going to add three stun to add those dice right back in. Okay. So, so three star markers go on you, and three on you. Your, uh, assault rifle, or your, so your machine gun has three base rate of fire. So when you look at the, the stack card, the rate of fire is how many times you're going to fire. It's going to gain an ammo counter, so he's going to get one, which means he'll be able to shoot it one more time after this. Um, and then his special rules, he gets plus one dice for his special rule. He gets his strength die all the time. And then he gets plus, plus one to hit me. And then minus one for cover, but you ignore it because of your shooter stability. Yes. On twos with five dice. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So the strength die doesn't hit, and you hit me four times, two's and then again. twos because you're a firearm, you always win a two plus strength. So four. Eight damage. Okay, so I'm just dead. <laughs> Should go ahead. You have violence objective. They must know pain. Inflict six damage. Oh, it's a melee attack. Sorry. Yeah, never mind. Doesn't just do that kill one. that guy. <laughs> he is super mega ultra dead. So it's back to me. And I think we just go with... Hmm... I think him. I like this guy. So he's going to take aim with his riot gun, uh, and his riot gun is going to lose an ammo. Uh, it has one, two uh, rate of fire, but we'll do two effort. Actually, yeah, we'll do two effort to try and make it more. Plus the attack time, or the strength time. So we're going to gain two stuns. Where are you shooting? This guy right here. Okay. And then does he want to use any effort to reduce my pool? Yes, no, maybe does so. He, does he? Nah, you'll just miss. Okay. <laughs> What's your defense? Three. Okay, so I have um, the medium range, mechanical, and blunt two rule. Two means that if my um, strength die is a six, I do a critical hit. Uh, normally that would just knock somebody down, but I could choose for that to do two additional sun damage instead. So hitting on your threes, and it's a six, so you're going to take two additional stun damage. Sweet. Um, and then these wound on threes, because I'm mechanical instead of firearm. So it's strength three plus. So just four stun damage. Yeah, it knocked him down though. Or knocked him out rather. Yep. Pow. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough to do that. Move now, and what he's going to do is he's actually going to move around the corner here. And just get it a line of fire. Right, and that is your activation now. 
We're going to go with our good friend, Thug One. Okay. We're going to give him a trickster card thing. Okay. Uh, he's going to activate, and we're going to use the They Must Know Pain Lightning Bolt Edition. Okay. To immediately knock this guy down instead of knock down. Yep, so he's knocked down instead of KO'd. So he'd go to one less. That is now expended, but not a score. That's when he activates. You got it. And then that little guy is going to just run away and be like, I don't care, Batman. I'm I'm here to push buttons. <laughs> and then he's going to push button. Okay, he's going to manipulate. Yes. Thus gaining reveal one enemy suspect marker within eight inches of the enemy deployment zone. For confusion. Confusion. So this is revealed now to be Joker Teeth. Goes away. He sits there. All right, well, it looks like it's Bat's turn, and Bat's is going to go do a thing. He's going to, I think, you've got how much left here? Not much. So we're going to go after somebody else now, I think. I think we're just going to go after Joker. We're going to make our move action in the mail with Joker. And then we're going to pugilate him. To expend, oh, I guess, two effort. I will just negate that. Okay, and you'll spend two effort whilst you'll take two stun. And it's time to do the punching. So I have five attack dice plus my strength die. What's your defense? Four. Fours. I have fours to hit here against the Joker. So that's going to be one, two, three hits. Try and block with your defense. Four. Four defense dice on fives. Back Blocks one. one, so I get two through. And I'm strength three plus. Take two stun. Four stun overall, and then Batman is done. Joker's gonna go. And he's just gonna knife you back. Actually, we're gonna give him his fun point. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna use his, I can use my willpower ability and attack. True, right? yeah, special, special ability, ability and attack, yep. He's gonna use his special ability to give plus two melee ability to this little jabroni. Makes sense. Uh, assuming he gets his power power off. He sure does. Yep. Uh, so that little guy will just give him He'll a little, be riled up. Yep. plus violence. Make his attack strength, so you're going to use any more effort? Yeah, we'll use another two. Oof, go to six? Okay. Uh, so what's your, what does that make your attack stat? Six. Six? I will use two as well. Back down. Make so the punches. Fours? Fives. It's not my strength? Nope, your strength die is your strength. So two hits, and then I get five dice to try and balance it out on four, on four sorry, because you attack four. Yep. Okay. Block them all. And so that's all done, and uh, it's back to me. We're going to go with Bullock. He's going to make a movement action to go to here. Mm -hmm. uh, he has an audacity marker, and so he is going to then take a shot with his handgun into this little fellow over here. Now, you are um, in short range. You're within eight, which means you're in range. I can also see you because you're within 12. Uh, and then I'm going to be minus two dice to zero, but I'm going to use three effort to up my shots. It's three effort to make that go away. <laughs> so I'm down to one dice because I always have my strength die. Um, so wait, if I use two then, you'd go down one anyway? I go down to two. Because I, I I'm right if I'm two total, I've gone to zero. I've bought three, but I always get this dice on top of it. But if I went down two, you would just get this. But I get if that, I went yeah. down three, you'd yeah. still get this. I still get this. It wouldn't be a strength die. It would be like that because this one always comes out first. What is your gun do? One stun, one wound? One stun, one wound. We'll take two stuns. <laughs> okay. So I'm at two dice. What's your defense? Three. Three, so three plus to hit. Uh, sorry, it isn't technically a strength die, so I can't crit you. Both hit. And that's a firearm, so it wounds on a two plus. Both wounds. You're going to take two blood and two stun. That'll knock him out. And he's he's KO'd. You. I've just got my cop over here left. Mm -hmm. With thug two. Thug Electric Boogaloo. We're yep. going to give him uh, some fitness. Audacity, yep. Uh, he is then going to use his to reveal this one, which is actually going to be valuable commodities. Oh, so it's going to turn to a loot marker, and if you hold the end of the game, it's worth three. Yeah, scurry away. Woo, peace out. I have the buttons. Uh, to no one's great surprise, he's going to go. He's going to manipulate to place a uh, marker, and then he's also going to play... <laughs> Oh, he has valuable commodities. <laughs> he has. I placed it this turn. That's right. It's not revealed yet. Yeah. And place assessment marker. That's done. Place yours last turn with that in mind, so you didn't actually have to reveal it in the same turn. Yes. Uh, all right, and I'm done. So it's back to you. 
Cool. This little guy is going to just stand he's up. Oh, he's knocked down. That's right. So his, when he stands up, he becomes impaired. So his movement's minus four. So he only can move in four inches this turn. I'm going to get you. And then it's last but not least. Can I move through friends? Uh, sure. And he'll just walk around back this way. And now everyone's finished, so it's going to be end phase. You have anything that scores now? Remove a stun. So Merkel goes to one. He's going to go to two. God, what am I doing there? <laughs> he's going to go to two. If I knock he's going to go to go three. Below my knockout threshold. No, you have to make a willpower check to come back. Okay. Recovery rolls, willpower checks for you. Doug four. I only rolls two dice because he's unconscious. Oh. Yeah. Fails. <laughs> and then anybody else unconscious? No. That's no. It. New rounds. You get our resources back. Round three. Let's take the lead. Four. Nope. It's you. So you've taken the lead. Uh, you're going to place an Dusty Marker on Deadshot. Yes, no, maybe so. Nah, he's good. Kay. He's in range of that guy. <laughs> Everybody on my team you, gets one because only you want four me guys to make left. Deadshot go first? <laughs> uh, no. I'm going to try and have you make Loot Man go first. All right, Loot Man. Leadership four. Nope. Oh, oh yes, he makes it. He's going first. Sounds Deadshot's good. going to Deadshot this guy. Okay, go for it. You want to spend? Oh, and I spend first, right? Yep. I spend three. Okay, I will also spend three. Guns final round, so you're going to be at... Uh, four dice plus strength. Right. And you, are you are within 16? Yeah, I pre-measured it okay. last time. Cool. Should be anyway. Oh yeah, you're good. Yes. On twos. Cool. And then... I have a crit there. You do have a crit, so I'm knocked down. Unless you have a critical effect on your gun. I don't. Okay. And then twos again. Six damage. Six blood three knocks, so I'm just destroyed. Kill blam. And a little bullets. Oh, with four passes, I should be doing great, and yet I am not. <laughs> so let's go with, I think... Would he have been knocked out before he died? Like, could I have scored a inflict an effect on a person? No, he just goes straight to dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to go with Bullock. Bullock is going to just wind up and pop his gun over here. Thanks, he's just gonna die like this. All right, so I'm gonna spend one, uh, two effort actually, and go to four to wind up my gun and get to four dice plus my strength die. Hitting on what's your defense? Three. Three. I gotta make sure this happens. So it's gonna be you're knocked down automatically, and then uh, three hits, so four hits total on twos. You take two blood and two stun. He has two stun on him currently. So two blood, two stun should KO you? Uh, four, it would bring me to four stun and two blood, which yep. I only have endurance four, so I'd be okay. down for sure. Take my walk action, eight, into base to base with you, and use my special for the arrest rule. Make a willpower check, and if I pass, you are just taking out as casualty. Willpower minus one. Uh, nope, I pale. That's a joke. Go. We're gonna give him a smiley point. Okay. He's gonna use it to give Oh, Jesus, what can we do here? <laughs> uh, Take someone kill? Motivating the Batman, okay. So I gotta pass it first on three dice looking for an eight. Okay. I do. Got it. And now you have to do a test or you'll get the enervate two rule. Okay, so it means I can only, if I'm enervate two, I can only make one effort basically during yeah. the round. I you pass. <laughs> All right, well, there, that's how that went. Tried that, yep. Yep, now we're gonna stab you. Okay, are you gonna use the effort? Oh geez, going all the way. Wait, doesn't that knock you out? Yeah, does that not knock you out? Using two, I'll use two as well. Cool. Uh, remember, you never roll a critical die or a strength die against me because my bad armor mark one. And hitting on fours, fives, five. one. Right. Okay, and then five block dice. No block. Okay. Man bat, you've done well. I think it's time to go over here though. We're gonna walk over. I forgot there's a guy there. That's right. We're going to walk into melee, and we're going to punch you. Mirko's going to use three efforts to attempt to really punch you. You want to use the effort as well? He'll use two. Okay, so I'm going to get a grand total of one extra die, which puts me at four plus a strength die. What is your defense? Three. So three's the hit. They all hit, uh, and that means this one is unblockable. And then you've got your, uh, how many defense dice? Three. Three, so three on four threes. Block two. Block two, so two more go away, and that means I get three total. I'm strength five, and you've got how much left? One. Okay, gotta get one of these, knock you out. 
Nope, nope. didn't do it. As long as you've been on, that means I can't. I need. I needed to arrest you. That was it. You. Uh, do we have machine gun hands? Shoot into Batman. <laughs> you can try. You're in cover. Yep. You get no uh, strength die. I'm in cover. So you're minus two dice there. Minus Bullet hands. I think we're just gonna shoot Batman. <laughs> do it. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna give. We might as well give him one because we're running out of people to activate anyway. That's fair. So he's gonna go, but he's just gonna open with shooting at the man bat. Okay. So you're, uh, and he's gonna and rile he, himself for two. He has a special ability too, where he gets to shoot, shoot his other gun, his other gun at the same time. That's right. And he's gonna give himself two focus. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm pretty close to being dead, so I'm not gonna try and stop it. So four dice on uh, fives. Fives. Defense five. Take one. Take one. Uh, on so two. it's on a two plus firearm. Pow. Pow. So he takes how much? Uh, one blood, one stun. All right, so he goes to three stuns and one blood. So he's at six, one total. All right, yeah, one shoot, more try. Yeah. Do it. Just focus one more shot and get one more dice. <laughs> three dice. So you're uh, five. minus one because you, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it would have been three dice base. You got one, two. Oh, oh this is perfect. Red twos. One wound, oh. or two wounds, two stuns. So I'm unconscious uh, and I went three blood. Yeah, so I can't activate. I won't eat your guns. Woo, bad. So I've lost my last activation because Batman can't go, so it's all you. Shotgun. I'm going to give him a point, and he's basically just going to move and put another suspect marker down. Okay. Nice. Uh, oh, he's going to move after that because he could have moved. Mm -hmm. He's just going to go there. Yeah, because he, he had a marker focus. on him. Yeah, it's this one right here. And then we'll use our last one on knife. Knife's going to knife. Go get him. Not gonna use anything because he's one step from knockout. I'm also one step from knockout because I try to arrest you. Uh, what's your defense? I'm on a three. One, two. Uh, my strength is a five plus though, so yep. I don't get that, right? No, no, that hits. It still hits. It's just oh. if, it, if you get your um, your oh. uh, bonus roll yet. One, one, one damage. Blood. <laughs> I'm unconscious. <laughs> KO'd. Uh, but that's gonna be a blood and four stun. Two. Poison. Curry. I'm gonna run. Oh. Goodbye, everyone. It's getting rough. I haven't scored any objectives, but I might score one now because I got two guys unconscious, uh, and Bullock's looking very alone right now. <laughs> so uh, your recovery rolls, everybody loses a stun that's awake. So Bullock's going to lose a stun. Joker's going to lose a stun. Thug one. Thug four is still out. So if they're out, they don't get They make recovery back. rolls. Yeah, they, make, they get a stun back if they make the recovery roll. Got it. Okay. So who's going first? Just Thug. two dice because you're unconscious. Thug four. Nope. nope. And thug six. Nope. nope. Uh, for the man bat, on an eight or less, he wakes up. And then for officer this guy, uh, Merkel, on a five or less. No, oh, so close. Really important, because I would have scored an objective off of that. <laughs> At least the bats is awake. I'm going to discard basically all of these, except for one. I'm going to discard basically all of these, because I can't do that one now. And it's round four. God. <laughs> Three of the same. Can I get a fun buck? He lost one of these. All right. I've got... Five skips. Five skips. You've only got one, two, three, four, four, act, five active models. And, and I've got three, two, two, two active models. So I get five. Four actually, skips. I have six, sorry. Four skips. Yeah, because I know I always get the bonus one for Batman. I know. We have a difference of three. I have two on the table right now? And I have five. So it's a difference of three. Oh, it's, okay, okay. Gotcha. One, two. Because okay. unconscious people, I don't They don't count. count. Yeah, unconscious yeah. people don't count. So um, you're going to get to roll initiative. Roll initiative. We have to get this right. Nope, not again. Never. Uh, but I will try and make him go first. We'll power check. All right, little guy. You gotta just make him. Nope. <laughs> He's gone. Uh, Obviously, all of my guys have audacity markers because I only have two guys left. And Mr. Funbags over there is going first. He's literally nothing to do. Like he he can do coward. no things. Okay. Can I shotgun blast my own people? Like if I shoot a template? I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, beginning. We're gonna use uh, choose one of your models may not may not be the boss. If this model is not knocked out or removed as a casualty, I score this objective. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. Okay. He just waits. So he's gonna score two if he survives until the end of the round, basically. If he survives to the end of this round, he's gonna be worth five points. Right, <laughs> <laughs> which is gonna be very hard to stop. Um, but I'm actually gonna go with Bullock first, and Bullock is going to attempt to uh, arrest, arrest this little guy as a special action. So he has to make a willpower check on a six. And pass, so he's removed as a casualty, which is going to score me during the activation. Dirty job. Okay, or casualty. Then he's going to shoot his guns into this idiot. 
Yeah, I know that idea right there, uh, which is gonna be on, you're in the open. So that's my second ammunition. What's your defense? Three. Three. We'll use an effort to give myself three dice plus my strength die on threes. So uh, you're knocked down automatically because of the crit. And then you're hit three times on twos because it's a firearm. Take two blood and two stun. That's knocking them down. Okay, and then I'm gonna just run away. And be like, please don't kill me. And he's KO'd. You get that twice, but I can't. <laughs> you. Deadshot's gonna shoot Batman. That makes sense. Uh, you're within eight, so he's gonna switch to handguns. Okay. And then he's gonna get three extra dice. Six Seven. done, all right. And uh, he hit me on I fives. I need some more dice. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> he hit on fives. So you don't get a strength die. And then I get three more. So you ignore my cover. Yep, so you... I'm four base. Yep. Plus one for being me. Yep. And then plus one to hit you, ignoring mm -hmm. cover. So and four is to hit. three extra dice. Because I spent three more you got to it. fight. So four is on this man. You got it. That's a lot of fours. <laughs> okay. And then twos, because it's a gun. You take one, two, three, four, five, six blood, and that many stuns. That man is dead. <laughs> and he's gone. We're going to score... Make an enemy KO or casualty. Yep. For two? For one. One. Hey, and, uh, and, I, and I'm done, because everyone is gone. He's oh. conscious, so it's just you for dead, the rest of the turn. Deadshot can wander around. Where's Bullock? Actually, this is the last round. It doesn't matter. It's the last nothing, round. Nothing, nothing matters. matters. So it's just what can you this score? This guy scores five. Yep. Uh, you knocked him out, because the only other thing that I had was to walk over and reveal your suspect marker with right. more of mine on the board. And he's unconscious, so yeah. it's not going to work. And that means that at the end of the game, I've scored one objective, and you've scored two, four, five, uh, ten. ten total. So ten to one for the Joker crew. So there we go, our first look at third edition Batman. Fudging a little bit so we could play a 250 rep game and just play a little bit smaller. Um, so obviously you would have had two extra models, I would have had two extra models, and you should have had slightly less funding. But the guy with the shotgun never did anything all game, so it wasn't like it really he impacted. He could have been a dude with a knife. And it would have been exactly the same. Yeah. Running around and grabbing buttons and fun bucks and scoring you five at the end. So things we notice, you got to throw a lot of Batman to kill him. Uh, Deadshot is amazing, obviously. He does exactly what you think Deadshot would do. And guns are lethal, um, as they, they previously are. The game does feel a little bit fast, um, but I liked that everything was on the cards and we had everything in front of us. Uh, the one thing there is... There are a million tokens on the table. There are a million tokens on the table. <laughs> and, and, well, the nice thing is some of them would be scenery so like the, the lamp the lamppost and stuff would actually be scenery markers which i'll replace in the future we're just using what's in the box um i did get really shafted on my objectives that i couldn't do a bunch of them like drawing a bunch of them in a row that i couldn't do at the same right. time and stuff like that and so i did feel like i needed to like card draw and psych a little bit harder which i probably should have done during the course of the just game just discard your hand just yeah like, get it in my can, hand you can always get the cards back so it's not like you have a diminishing return exactly and so like the fact that i got all those ko's in a turn batman was like KOing people but i wasn't scoring anything off of it and that means that you want the right cards in your hand at the right time to try and score which is it, it means that you do need to have like the, the the sort of like the luck of the draw a little bit when you're doing actions so yeah, Deadshot just removing models was <laughs> was making it hard for me to do things like get the loot, and if I had been able to get the loot and run away from him, that probably would have been good. Because he only gets to shoot basically twice per game without... There's an ammo bar. Yeah, card. being like, like eight all of a sudden. I three of the ammo cards in my deck. Just try to reload Deadshot, <laughs> which makes sense. If we needed to. <laughs> um, and the models are nice. The models are fun. I didn't go with the big giant bases and the scenic stuff just because I liked them being a little more wargaming miniature, a little less scenery piece. But I'll probably paint up some of those scenery pieces, or some of those um, big train bits as scenery pieces later on. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look and let's play at 3rd edition Batman. We'll see you for more of these in the future. Thanks, I'm Ash the Zellin. Now we're getting... I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.